Nearly two decades after American teenager Natalie Holloway disappeared in Aruba, the prime suspect in the case admitted he did in fact kill her. Joran Vandersloot hasn't been charged in Holloway's killing and he cannot be tried in the U.S. for it. But his admission has provided the teen's family with some long-awaited answers. Joran Vandersloot's confession means we have finally reached the end of our never-ending nightmare. The confession came amid a plea deal in an extortion case stemming from Natalie Holloway's disappearance. Vandersloat was sentenced to 20 years in prison for extortion and wire fraud, a sentence that will run concurrently with his sentence in Peru. He is serving time there for the killing of another young woman. As part of the plea deal, an attorney for Beth Holloway said Vandersloat had to provide information about what happened to her daughter. He said that after killing her on the beach in Aruba, he put her into the water, and that was the last that he ever saw her. In 2010, Vandersloat was indicted by a federal grand jury. He was accused of trying to extort $250,000 from Holloway's family in exchange for details about the location of her body. That information was false. Vandersloat moved from Aruba to Peru before he could be arrested in the extortion case. As a mother, I cannot imagine the heartache, the sleepless nights, and the tears that Beth and her family must have shed. Natalie Holloway was last seen with Vandersloat in Aruba during a May 2005 trip. 18 year old Holloway was on a trip celebrating her high school graduation. A friend there said that on their last night, they went to a local bar. That night, Holloway was seen getting into a car with three strangers. Among them was Joran Vandersloat. He was arrested twice, but long maintained his innocence. In 2012, he pleaded guilty in a Peruvian court to the murder of 21 year old Stephanie Flores. He was extradited to the U.S. earlier this year to face the extortion charge. It's been a very long and painful journey, but we finally got the answers we've been searching for for all these years.